Good morning, everyone. I am sitting at Art Lockdown waiting for Christine to arrive. So exciting. I wanted to just kind of give you guys a, I know some of you had asked for a vlog um, of Art Lockdown, so that is what this video is going to be. But I want to begin by just kind of sharing what Art Lockdown is and how it was created. Um, Christine and I have been friends for at least 10 years. Um, we met online, we met on Twitter of all places, looking, we were both signed up for a writing retreat and we were both looking for roommates and we got paired together and then she's just been my person ever since. Um, so we started meeting up about 10 years ago, but Art Lockdown was not born until, this is our eighth art lockdown. And what that means is the first couple times we got together, we went out to eat. I remember we had sushi and we went like, we went to a bookstore, I think. No, we went to, we went hiking. We did a bunch of things. Art lockdown was created eight years ago because this is our eighth art lockdown. We do it once a year. And it was created because we were both artists, um, whether that, you know, the broad term, I'm a writer and I do like to do collage stuff and play with art journaling on occasion, um, but we're both creatives. And so we created Art Lockdown because that year we were both really big into art journaling. And so we had decided, why don't we bring our own food so that we don't go out to eat at all and all of our art supplies and literally like hang out in the hotel room and enjoy the quiet and read and write and paint and plan and do whatever our hearts desire. <laughs> I have three kids, she has four. Our kids are now older, my youngest is 15 and I believe her youngest is 12 now. And we are both homeschooling mamas so we didn't get a lot of that quiet at home. And so this was a way, our husbands actually love the fact that we take this time to get away because it recharges us. And neither one of them would care to hole up in a hotel room for four days. <laughs> so the fact that we have each other and can do that together, um, it's perfect. So what we do is we, um, we're here typically Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, three nights. And um, we, like I said, we bring all of our food and we have charcuterie. It's basically like a big charcuterie par party. Um, we cook beforehand, bring everything. We have a suite where there is a refrigerator. We bring our own French press. So we make our own coffee. Like it's amazing. And we don't go anywhere. We stay in the hotel room. And like I said, we do whatever we feel like doing. So there are moments where it's completely quiet and I'm reading and she's doing her journaling um, or vice versa, but we, we make plans for our year and we share those goals with each other and there's lots of girl talk. It's amazing. We do leave the hotel room one day because she lives in Ohio, I live in North Carolina and we meet up in Tennessee. There is the most amazing bookstore. It's probably number two on my list. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, I did a indie road trip, um, an indie bookstore road trip with my daughters for my oldest daughter's graduation trip. And we visited like a ton of indie bookstores. And in that trip, there was one bookstore that I would say beats this one out. And it is actually in Ohio near her. Um, but this bookstore, like on the East Coast, this, uh, this bookstore is amazing. And so tomorrow, and I'll take you guys with me, Tomorrow, we always hit the bookstore one of the days, and that's the only day we go out. So we'll be leaving and hitting the bookstore, hanging out there for hours because we don't have any kids with us and there's no time limit. So we can browse to our heart's extent and pick up whatever we desire to pick up. Um, and so you'll see that tomorrow when I take you guys with me. I come the last three years I have started coming a day early. So I actually arrived yesterday on Saturday um, because I could, like I didn't have any, she has, um, she works, she's a spiritual director 
but she also works with a church. She's over their music. And so a lot of times she can't leave until after Sunday morning. So she's on her way probably right now um, to meet me, but I don't have plans on Sundays or on Saturdays usually. So when I can, my husband is amazing. And he's, he actually suggested it because I was like counting down the hours and he's like, why don't you go up a day early? You don't have anything that you gotta do tomorrow. I was like, oh my gosh, why did I never think of that? So I actually come up a day early. So I stay four nights. Um, and that way I can get the hotel set up because we do move things around quite a bit in the hotel room. <laughs> um, Cause we, we have to get it where we can have all of our things out and like the floor space for art and everything. So I get the hotel ready and prepped and the furniture moved around. Um, and we don't have a maid come the entire time we're here. So I put the do not disturb sign out and we do leave her a great tip. Even though in all of our eight years, we've never had, and I, I don't want to like jinx it, but we've never spilled any paint. We've never had any kind of mishaps. Um, so let's hope that that remains. <laughs> Anyhow, that's just a little tidbit about what Art Lockdown is. Um, and yeah, so stay tuned. I'll be doing a little show and tell once she gets here of the room and all of our things. And then I'll take you to the bookstore and keep you guys posted on what art lockdown shenanigans um, un are unveiled. If you do want to follow along and see all of the pictures, you can follow hashtag art lockdown 20 because um, that is our hashtag for this art lockdown. And you can see all of the stuff that was created and selfies and all that, all that good stuff on Instagram. So hashtag art lockdown 20. This is a quick little tour of our art lockdown mess, <laughs> our beautiful mess. Books and journals. It is 6.45 in the morning here. We're both early risers. I've got water that is getting hot and ready for the French press. This is how we begin our morning with water, not water, with coffee and water and a little journaling. So I'm going to sit down right here with my morning mindset pages. Christine is going to be getting cozy right there with her journal and we're going to have some quiet meditative journaling time. The bookstore! Yay! <laughs> Just a glimpse into why <laughs> we put a do not disturb sign on our hotel room door because the maid would probably have a heart attack if she came in here because this is what art lockdown looks like lots of papers lots of magazines lots of paints of white space and breath, journaling and reading and writing, incense, candles. <laughs> yeah, look at all these snacks. I should film our food. I mean, we eat well here let's just let me just take you into the fridge not that you guys really care but this is our fridge with all kinds of tapas and charcuterie goodness and cider <laughs> yeah this is books these are this is christine's lot that she picked up today Mine, I have already packed away, but yeah, this is this is art lockdown. Little glimpses.
It's our last night at our lockdown. I've got tea with a drop of peppermint essential oil. It is the best thing, you guys. If you've never tried peppermint essential oil, one drop, just one. Um, we do it in our coffee in the morning. So we do coffee with chocolate, Ghirardelli, Ghirardelli chocolate powder. <gasps> drop of peppermint and some heavy cream. Yeah, because art lockdown, it's a special time. And take a drop it in your tea at night and it like makes your belly feel warm and it helps when you've been eating cheese all weekend long. Yeah, but we are now in our cozy pajamas and everything is being tidied up. We've got most of the hotel looking like its typical room again which I will have to do a little walkthrough and show you guys here in a bit. Um, Christine is out on a phone call with her family. We typically take calls a couple times while we're here and just walk the halls and it's nice. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little glimpse. I did get a bunch of books and if you guys are interested in a book haul, let me know. I can do one of that, one of those when I get home. Um, but until then, I'm gonna sit and enjoy my tea and talk with you guys later.